Hello again to another unboxing video, and this time we're going to go open Sentinels of the Multiverse uh, Wrath of the Cosmos. I'm the Carbert Stagger, and this is my friend Cat. And um, well, we'll just go ahead and open it right now. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's start with the smaller uh, stuff first. Okay. So right here we have Omnitron 4, or yeah, Omnitron 4, which is a mini uh, environment expansion. And you have... I have guys. <laughs> uh, he is a villain, or is he a hero? I Oh, he's a big deck. He's a hero. So that's the hero. And we have the villain here, which is the uh, Wager Master. And, uh, and also, Kat, if you, uh, if, you see, if you look at the back of that box, uh -huh. uh, you can actually see the difficulty of the... Uh, the complexity oh, level. Oh, two and five ninths. Yes, two and five ninths. Two and five ninths for guys. <laughs> I think this is the Deadpool character. I'm just guessing. You can right. see he's riding a shark in this. Most definitely the Deadpool character. All right. Oh, look at that. They even have the um, dividers in here too. That's pretty nice. I like these new packaging, by the way. They're really nice. Uh, it makes it a little more uh, professional, I think. Do you think? Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll open this. There you go. That should be... All right. So we're just going to look through them and we're going to give you an, uh, a close-up to it uh, with it as well. We're just going to throw the trust same direction as always. Alright. Omatron is like, we're actually, looks like we're inside Omatron. This is like, this whole like factory or even like the the being itself. And there's like, uh, like still do we have drones? And this is, uh, I guess uh, this is not part of the villain. But uh, it is an environment by itself, so you play it without the arbitrary. Um, so this is definitely the Deadpool card. If you read best card ever, it says draw two cards. Guys deals one target two melee damage. Guys regains one HP. And if you throw your hands in the air and yell, woo, you may play a card. Uh, looks like Wager Master is the nemesis of uh, guys. Of guys, <laughs> yes. It so has a really weird kind of face. So let's go ahead. I'll, let's go look through him. Doesn't seem the they have the oversized version of that card. Hopefully they'll get that soon. He's kind of a uh, condition cards. He has condition cards in here. Which, uh, so here's one. So playing dice with the cosmos. Hero turn order starts with the player nearest to the environment area. Moving around the table counterclockwise, ending with the player nearest to the villain area at the end of the villain turn. If any hero are incapacitated, the heroes lose the game. <laughs> Pretty bad. So, can't wait for that. He's a level 2 villain. Uh, we have Knife, Rogue Agent. Um, and her power is reveal the bottom card of the deck. Either put it into play or discard it. Um, Captain Cosmic. Ooh, he is a Prime Wardens. He is new. So he's new. He's going to be in this set, of course. And apparently Prime uh, Warden's Argent Adept is one of those two. All right. And looks like we have a another Fanatic, Prime Wardens, a Hakka Prime Wardens, and Tempest. So that's really cool. Let's go look at the, their abilities really quick. Uh, Tempest has the Arc of Power. Play up to three cards. Each time you play a card this way, the environment deals Tempest three lightning damage. Uh, Argent Adept. Power, Conduct. Put the bottom card of your deck into play. You may activate an accompany text. Okay. Uh, Hakka's is Guardian. Play a card. If that card has Hakka in the title, select one target to gain the benefit of your discarding. Mm -hmm. uh, then I have uh, Captain Cosmic. Uh, power Absorption. Until the start of your next turn, whenever a Construct card is destroyed, you may shuffle it into your deck instead of either... Uh, instead, and either draw a card or play a card. Ooh, I bet he's like Doctor Strange. Fanatic, uh, Resolute, uh, Power, Fanatic deals herself three radiant damage. Play the top card of your deck. One hero may use a power now. Pretty powerful. Yeah. So, yeah. Can't wait to play with these as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And time. Let's go ahead and put these. Uh, time to do the big box. Been waiting for this for uh, a while. After I, we pre-ordered, right? Yes. And you have a copy as well. Yes. So this is my copy. And I'm putting this in the game. And um, I think, yeah, our copies are right here. 
in the back. So uh, we're going to show you if they're going to fit or not. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty packed right now. Yeah, so. You might need to add another box. We only have two bigger boxes. You can go ahead and throw those over there. I do like the cover. There you go. <laughs> so this as the, the smaller expansions, there's two heroes, four villains, and two environments. We have the advertisement for the uh, Sentinels video game. There's a video game coming out. Yeah, well, it's the app. It's the app. Oh, oh, they have it's an called, app for yeah, the. It's called Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Yeah. But is it the game just as an app? Yes. Oh. Oh yeah. So, and then we have the rule, the rule book. Yeah. Cool. And I was like looking at the hero and the villain comparisons. That's really cool. And the bio bios. So they don't have. Uh, I believe on the website they actually have the website. They actually have more of the extended version. All right. Looks like we have more of the uh, dividers. Dividers. I'll, you could go ahead and start opening one of okay. those. Okay. I don't know if I can get this with my gloves. Can you do it? Okay. I'll, here you go. That's why we have this. <laughs> Your gloves actually have grip. Mine don't. No, these are don't. My other black gloves do, but I can't find them right now. <laughs> All right, we um, some more of the really cool dividers. Okay, let's sort this by hero. Okay, there's probably more than one deck. So yes. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, while we're starting out, we'll go ahead and skip ahead, and I'll come back to you later. And we're back, and we're finished sorting all the cards. And we have, starting with Deadline, looks like uh, he's going to have more, a similar kind of, a, he's the nemesis of the natural. Naturalist. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I have the Infiltrator. Uh, no, the Infinitor, the Infinitor, not the Infiltrator. And he is the um, nemesis of Captain Cosmos. He looks like he has a fair number of small things that you're going to fight and some one shots. Progeny? Progeny. Progeny, the vassal of destruction. This is Knife's nemesis. Uh, looks like he does, well, uh, the first card looks like he destroys a lot of stuff. <laughs> Beginning of the end. Destroy H environment cards. Destroy H hero oh. on cards. Destroy H equipment oh. cards. Oh. Sounds like pain. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Let's see what his uh, difficulty is. It's a three. <laughs> of course. Yeah, this sounds like fun. And... No, oh, his is a four. Oh, it is four. I read, I read the wrong one. Yeah. Can we you? have, I will try to pronounce this, Kargra Warfang. She is Bloodsworn Master, and she is the nemesis of Skyscraper, our new hero. And now while we were sorting this out, we have a bit of confusion because we believe this deck was actually another environment card, but actually it goes with her deck, which is probably... Uh, uh, another unique villain that actually has something else they have. She has interesting cards in here, one called Bloodsworn Coliseum and one called Crowd's Favor, and they're just all text, so I assume there's a lot of intricacy to playing her. It's going to be very different from playing other villains. Um, but she has a lot of competitors you'll be facing in the arena that are really high, so she looks like she's going to be a challenge. Uh, uh, she doesn't look like, and the interesting is, I don't think she has any HP right there. Look at that. 40 on, this oh, on side. the other side on the main side doesn't look like he has no yeah so i think you're going to be finding her later i'm thinking what her deck is going to do is she's going to have um a lot of her, the, the gladiators i would guess yes she does and these are what basically this is the uh blood's warm coliseum title deck i guess you attach these to some of the cards so they might be a little buffed up um go ahead i'll take this one and this is the environments deck now this is Dok Thorath Capital. I don't. I don't think I pronounced that correctly. Um, so it looks like, like we're like, it looks like we're on another planet in this one. Okay. I have the Enclave of the Endlings. 
Ooh, this is space. Definitely. Ooh, I, There's I some, like the art. Yeah, the art is pretty interesting. The, I really like the back of the art. It's very old pulp novel. This is all very pulp. Um, wow, I'm actually. Pulp novel. I'm really. I'm really impressed. With I'm this. really liking the art in I'm this really one. I'm liking the art this in this one. This is really, really good. This is actually. This is the first time I'm happy with the art. Yes, I would agree <laughs> with that. Uh, and there's some people you. There's a bunch of people you fight, uh, it looks like, and a couple uh, rooms. All right, and of course, the last one we got the heroes. We got Skyscraper and Captain Cosmic. Okay, <laughs> Captain Cosmic. His power is fabrication. Reveal the top card of your deck, put it into play, or into your hand. So he's probably deck control. This is it, this, this feels like more of an upgrade from the naturalist. Huh. Uh, what she has here is she has actually three different um, hero cards, and I believe these are the sizes that she could be. Uh, tiny, normal, and huge. So and they're, I believe, yep, and they're all different kind of uh, abilities as well. Um, she starts, it says, in the normal character. And I think she kind of like, let's see if she has any cards here that make her grow or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, she'll switch uh, over uh, sizes depending on kind of cards to play. So like this one says, um, three in monolith, when this card enters play, switch the skyscraper's huge character card, see? Huh? Yeah. Uh, he makes constructs. And it's featuring a lot of the heroes that we had in our um in our promo cards because they're on a team together apparently let's see if all of these cards fit in the boxes i hope it does or else i'll be really mad because <laughs> then you'll need to buy another box all right we'll just go ahead and do this and um i don't know because this is pretty full okay um i think it might all fit just in that box <laughs> so, but oh, I just want this just to be the heroes and that to the villains. But oh, oh well. It's, all right, so we're back, and yes, it looks like go ahead. And sh so that's all. Everything we have here. I don't know. There's the other expansion box too, the big one, but I don't know what that looks like. But the the vengeful has have this hole, so you can actually put the oversized villains. But unfortunately, the new villains don't have the oversized yet. Hopefully they can come out that soon. I really want those if they do actually come out. They make the gameplay a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, so if you're not going to sleeve your cards, it looks like they're going to fit. Most likely if you sleeve your cards, they're not going to fit. <laughs> you may have to get the that other box. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Well, that this ends this unboxing video. So, can't wait to play this. Hopefully review it later. So, see you next time. Bye.